Welcome to question number one. This question we're asked to find the first three terms in ascending powers of x of the binomial expansion of 2 plus x to the power 6, giving each term in its simplest form. Okay, so you might like to have a go at this question, see if you've got the right answer, just pause the video, come back when you're ready. If, on the other hand, you have a problem with expanding this, maybe you might like to look at our tutorial on the binomial expansion using combinations. Okay, welcome back. Let's see how you've got on with this question. Okay, if we use the binomial expansion, then this is going to be identical to 6C0. And then we take the first term, if you remember, 2 to the power 6, and then the second term in the bracket, x, and we put that to the power 0. And then it's plus, for the second term, 6c1, then reduce the power on the 2 by 1, so that's now down to 2 to the power 5, and at the same time increase the power on the x by 1, so that's now x to the power 1. And finally, our last term will be plus 6c2. Reduce the power on the 2, so that's now 2 to the power 4. And increase the power on the x, so that's now x to the power 2. And then it's plus, and so on. Try and remember that, even though there's other terms there, don't just finish uh, because it asks for the first three terms, put plus and so on. Okay, it's just a question of cleaning this up now. Uh, you might want to uh, go for the final answer. I'm just going to uh, put in each of the values here just so that I can show all my working and you can check against it. Okay, 6C0, this should be a value that we should know already. If we have NC0, it's always 1. So 6C0 will be 1. Let's put the 1 there. 2 to the power 6. That's 64, and x to the power 0 is just 1. That's the first term. Moving on to the second term, plus. Here we have 6c1. We should know this result as well. nc1 always gives n. So in this case, 6c1 should give 6. So we have 6. 2 to the power 5, that's 32. And x to the power 1, that's just simply x. That's the second term done. Moving on to the third and final term, 6C2. You must probably need the calculator for this. So if you type that in, 6C2 should give you 15. And then it's going to be multiplied by 2 to the 4, which is 16. And then x squared, so x to the power 2, plus, and so on. So just tidying that up now gives us 1 times 64 is 64, and 6 times 32 is 192, so 192x, and then 15 times 16 is 240, so that's 240x squared, plus, and so on. Okay, so that is essentially it. And if you did that question correctly, you would have got four marks in total. So well done if you got that. And see you on question two.